All right, here is our multiple choice quiz for the West. Uh, at any point, feel free to pause this video uh, as you think about your options or you uh, process some things or you read the passage or look at the map or whatever it is you need to do. Go ahead and pause it, back up, um, use this video to help you uh, with the quiz. So here we go. Question one. Angry farmers that wanted more power in government were called A, exodusters, B, cowboys and ranchers, C, populists. Number two, read the passage. Which law did this come from? And the passage is this. Be it enacted that any person who is the head of a family or who has arrived at the age of 21 years and is a citizen of the United States shall, after the 1st of January, 1863, be entitled to one to enter one quarter section of unappropriated public lands from May 20th, 1862. So again, which law did this come from? A, the Interstate Commerce Act, B, the Pacific Railway Act, or C, the Homestead Act? Question three, which group gained the most from the farmers, uh, excuse me, which group gained the most from the government's payments of $48,000 and 640 acres of land for every mile of track that was put down? A, railroad owners, B, settlers, or C, miners? Question four, which of the following was not a problem for miners? A, strong competition for other miners. B, merchants charging high prices for basic needs, or C, pressure from the United States government to treat Native Americans respectfully. Number five, why did cowboys move their cattle north from Texas along the Chisholm Trail? A, to sell their cattle to rich ranchers in Oklahoma, B, to ship their cattle to markets in eastern cities like Chicago, or C, to find better grazing land for their cattle in states like Kansas. Number six, making Indian culture more closely resemble white culture is called A, assimilation, B, extinction, or C, allotment. Number seven, what occupation did most African-American exodusters choose in the West? A, cowboys, B, soldiers, or C, farmers? Number eight, what were the two largest groups of immigrants that worked on the transcontinental railroad? A, Germans and Japanese, B, Irish and Chinese, or C, Italian and Russian. Number nine, according to the map, in 1890, most Native American reservations were located in which state? A, Idaho, B, Oklahoma, or C, Montana? And use the map, obviously, to help you answer that question. And question 10, which development closed the open range for cattle ranching? A, barbed wire, B, transcontinental railroad, or C, battle of the little bighorn? All right, now that you're done, go ahead and bring your quiz back to me. Thank you.